Good afternoon, Santa Merchant families. This is Dr. Massara with a weekly update for October 2nd, 2020. Last night, we had a special Board of Education meeting um, and we looked back at the first weeks of school. Um, as we had promised over the summer, we had our first look back period uh, to examine our capacities and to see what potential tweaks we could make to our reopening plan. Uh, some of the recommendations that we gave to the Board of Education include increasing the frequency of students in person at uh, Clayton Week. That means that we will be moving toward four days a week of in-person instruction for all students at Clayton Huey that are scheduled for the hybrid model. We will be, uh, students will be attending uh, both the red and white cohorts will now be coming to school together. Uh, so we will have 100% of our in-person learners coming in on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. The hours will remain the same, uh, and uh, Wednesdays will be virtual days to attend to our distance learners who are still at home in their full distance learning capacity. Um, please look for uh, information from the elementary school on specific details. Um, as you can imagine, there, there will be an adjustment to this. This, this will begin on um, Monday, October 19th. Uh, we do need a little time to uh, realign our bus routes, uh, to install some uh, plastic barriers that will now be on everyone's desks because of the increased capacity within our schools. So um, keep in mind that um, this will be an adjustment. If you have questions, please reach out to Mr. Ritchie or Ms. Jackson at Clayton Huey. At our middle and high school, we are also making some considerations. Um, we, uh, you know, we did have a, a meeting last night and the priority as per the New York State guidelines um, are right now for the very beginning, the priority was to get back our youngest uh, learners more frequently. However, we are taking a look, a very close look at what's happening in middle and high school. Um, and we are attending to some of those issues. Um, students in the middle and high school, we are looking to open up some of our clubs, uh, whether they be virtual most likely. Um, so we are examining some of those opportunities. We are examining some opportunities uh, with uh, some off season workouts for sports um, and, and some other things at the high school um, that Mr. Thode um, and at the middle school with Dr. Reggio uh, will be pushing out some information. So keep in mind um, our uh, reopening plan is a flexible and fluid one. Um, the first look back period was on uh, uh, September 21st. We have another reopening look back period scheduled for October 13th, at which time we will re-examine all, all we've been doing and we will make further adjustments and recommendations for adjustments. I want to thank our community for being so supportive. I thank our Board of Education um, for being very thoughtful and deliberate, um, and, you know, deliberating about all of these kinds of ideas and, and coming up with a reasonable plan that we believe can increase time in school for those students who are in person, um, as well as be able to keep everyone safe and healthy, which of course is our first priority. Um, again, uh, the um, academic, social, emotional needs of our kids is the highest priority. If you need anything, uh, please reach out to your, your school um, and we will absolutely uh, place whatever resources necessary to help you out. Um, I do want to thank um, Mr. Michael Donovan and Ola of the East End. Um, they were able to donate an additional 75 Chromebooks to our school. Those are being distributed today on Friday. Um, October 2nd, and that really enables us to get to a place where any student that had a need for a Chromebook and indicated a need for a Chromebook was able to access one. So we are in a really great place right now um, in terms of our access um, and creating an equitable learning environment for our students. Um, so we are optimistic that we can make some additional tweaks to our instructional program uh, so that it can be more effective. Um, but moving forward, uh, we will be looking back again on October 13th and hopefully making some more adjustments. Um, Senator Murchis, um, I really, it, it is a pleasure uh, to be your superintendent. I, I thank you for your support um, and I look forward to additional, um, you know, reopening adjustments that will serve to benefit our students and um, provide more opportunities for them. So thank you so much and have a wonderful weekend.